Pakistan heads to the polls today to vote for a government that will take over from the interim Prime Minister Anwar ul Haq Kakkar, presumably for the next couple of years. With the main opposition leader, former Prime Minister Imran Khan, now serving multiple jail sentences and his outfit, the Pakistan Tariq Insaf effectively banned. It is anybody's call as to who will actually win in these elections. Three time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif made his comeback a couple of months ago and is considered a front runner to return to power. Other options include Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, the current foreign minister and grandchild of Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto along with his party, the Pakistan People's Party, with the largest opposition party, Imran Khan's PTI, now effectively banned. The PTI candidates are, candidates are running as independents with an outside chance of a silent protest where the PTI is brought to power by people voting for the independent candidates. We are being joined. Uh, by senior journalist from Pakistan, Zameer Ali Dato, along with the other panelists. But first, let's listen in to defense expert Sushant Sareen. There was an apprehension that uh, there will be these kind of attacks uh, on the electoral process. Uh, in fact, just before, the, the, uh, the attacks have been happening for over a week now. Uh, and, uh, you know, there was an attack on a police station over a dozen policemen were killed. There have been a number of other attacks at smaller levels against candidates in Balochistan. It's particularly bad uh, because uh, both in the Baloch areas as well as the Pashtun areas, there's a lot of resistance uh, to, the, uh, to, to Pakistan out there and people don't identify themselves with the elections. So I think there is uh, this wave of violence which has taken over. There have been smaller attacks which have escaped uh, the attention of many people. Uh, on candidates, on their offices and others. Colonel uh, J.S. Sodi, international affairs expert, joins us this morning to talk more about this. Uh, Colonel Sodi, a very good morning to you. I hope you can hear me. Colonel Sodi, if you can hear me. Colonel Sodi, if you're there with us. I can hear you, please. Colonel Sodi, these elections in Pakistan, the big question is, is it likely to change anything who the puppet prime minister is going to be? Because uh, uh, invariably or not, it is going to be the deep state that's going to run Pakistan. Definitely, Vinny. Uh, this election in Pakistan is not an election. It is a selection. And the Pakistani army has already decided that the next prime minister will be Nawaz Sharif. However, the public opinion is grossly in favor of Imran Khan. And if the Pakistan army does not rig these elections, it is definite that Imran Khan will become the next Prime Minister because overwhelming majority of two-thirds of Pakistanis want Imran Khan as the Prime Minister. But like you rightly said, the deep state by the Pakistani army is ensuring that Imran Khan doesn't come to pass because today, for General Haseem uh, Muni, the biggest threat is Imran Khan. Hmm. What do you think is going to be you know, the way forward in this uh... Uh, you know, already existing alliance and understanding between uh, the army of Pakistan and Nawaz Sharif. Are they going to allow him uh, to do anything, you know, like they did not allow Imran Khan to? Well, uh, Vineet, uh, the Pakistani army is uh, pulling out all stops to ensure that the independent candidates for Imran Khan do not come to power. And that is the reason why, as we speak, the internet in Pakistan has been shut down. This is to prevent any uh, last-minute support for Imran Khan. The Pakistani army has been working overtime in the last few months to ensure that Nawaz Sharif comes back to Pakistan. All the cases against him are caused so that he has a free and a clear run to become the next Prime Minister. However, the Pakistani people want Imran Khan as they see in Imran Khan a savior who can pull out Pakistan from the deep uh, you know, problems and quagmires that Pakistan is deeply entrenched in. Wing Commander Prafal Bakshi, defense expert, also joins us this morning to talk more about this. Commander Bakshi, good morning to you, sir. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Well, Pakistan, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the same old wine, but it's a different bottle, I guess. Absolutely right, Billy. This aspect is going to be a long time. Now, generally, it is, uh, is going to change its stance. There is a lot of pressure from China also to, uh, to make sure that uh, the whole uh, peace pre 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 prevails in such a way that there is no conflict. But the youth of Pakistan is 
supporting Iran very much as we have been mentioning uh, in your channel earlier, that the youth is now going to have the, hold the sway. But the Bullah element is not supporting Imran that much as they are supporting Nawaz Sharif because Nawaz Sharif has called all out to please the Bullah element. But and Nawaz Sharif and with his brother, uh, they are going to now make sure that they will do what army wants. Army is going to be very happy if Nawaz Sharif comes. But army is making sure, as Colonel uh, Sodi had mentioned too, that army is making sure that Imran Khan does not come up that way. Though Imran Khan was their original um, uh, darling and uh, Nawaz Sharif was being thrown out a number of times, but Nawaz Sharif cannot be, you know, uh, they, they can't deal with very, very harshly because he's a, he's got the Punjabi element with us, with him supporting him very much. And the Pakistan army is very shy of that. So that is why Pakistan will be make sure that somebody from, from Nawaz Sharif, uh, Nawaz Sharif comes up and nobody from the, the Imran Khan's party or Imran Khan himself can come up. So they're having maximum cases against him. Uh, but Imran Khan uh, is being supported. And I'll tell you, the original uh, the opposition to uh, Pakistan army was uh, Pakistan judiciary. And Pakistan judiciary is supporting Imran Khan against Nawaz Sharif. That is for sure. So or hopefully they don't mention it. But otherwise, they are, that element is also supporting him. So there's going to be a serious problem in Pakistan for more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.